I probably regained the access to it by now, right? Yes. Like, I must defeat you for purposes of the other series where I do multiplayer anyway. <laughs> Shit, I didn't change my character, did I? I'm an idiot. I keep forgetting the challenge lore approach. Oh, you can pick your character. Okie dokie. Uh, I mean, Sheik's always a good one, I suppose. You know what? No, uh, no, he's a heavy, so Bowser could not be the best choice. Eh. I gotta unlock him for my multiplayer. Bit. Yeah. Oh, good job. Oop. Almost got a hit in. Can't let, let that happen. Alright, well, that was uneventful. Hey, I'm just gonna save this here because this is, uh, this is the most popular series on the channel, basically, so it's a good place to get a little thing out. What? Details? What'd you change? Uh, but I'm gonna be taking Christmas off, so on Christmas Day, December 25th, my time at least, United States and all that, uh, people on the other side of the world, which day I'm talking about can be confusing because of the 12 hour offset and everything. Uh, I'm gonna take the day off, so it'll just be the Patreon series, which is Fez. We'll get an episode that day, and I have a special event video that'll go up that day. That's a special thing, uh, Christmas thing, but the rest of the schedule is gonna take a day off because working twice as hard in order to make up, uh, for your day off defeats the purpose of having a day off. So I'm gonna go enjoy Christmas with everybody else and all that. Uh, looks like there are... Cool. Various gameplay fixes. What an exciting patch. Anyway. And there's this thing on the spirit board, which I think is the mechanic I don't play. Alright, well, I still got Ike now. For, but not for this place, is the issue. I want Ike for this place. Ike's nice to play as. He's a big... He's a heavy Marth. And heavy Marth is an interesting build to have. Because Marth is my favorite melee character. And once I realized that they made a heavier, scarier Marth, I was like, neat. I've at least I've done that. I've escaped. I've defeated the goddamn airport. <sighs> it's over. And now I get to play as Ryu for a bit and figure out how he works. Fire fetched. A one star Falco. Ooh, that organ. That organ in the new theme. Okay. Does it have. Yeah. Hadouken Tatsumaki Senpukyaku. Shit. It's impossible. Nobody could pronounce that. Uh, so Danby just blocks an attack, basically, like how they generally do in Street Fighter, I guess? Oh, it stuns them, right. Okay. But he's straightforward ish. And that doesn't have the juggle you'd expect. Because the, uh, the spinning kick is more of a multi-hit attack, usually, but it's, it knocks him back at, as this character, like, pretty much instantly. Now, taking this very well, Falco. Alright. That takes care of that. It occurs to me I didn't even read what the... I didn't even read what that mission was about. Like what was happening in it. Good job, me. Brittany. Oh, an ace character. Yeah, I'm probably ready for that. Just responding to a bird catcher message real quick. All right, cool. Now I'm ready. Time to battle. The enemy becomes more powerful after eating, and items will be pulled towards the enemy. So eating them makes them stronger, but potentially more importantly is the fact that I have to deal with the fact that I am not a great character, and I don't understand what they are. Pikmin. Well, those characters I've absolutely not figured out. I'll defeat with flowers. Oh, ah, he's zombie. Get him off me. Sayonara. 
You can just politely die. I wouldn't mind. Can I, can I charge it? Nope. Can I have to ask you to stop? Alf? Huh. Doesn't seem like an ace battle. He is taking a while to kill, though, and there is a time limit. But it seems pretty straightforward so far. Oopsie. In fact, he is healing, actually. That's not good. I may have lost my momentum pretty bad. Yeah. Nope. Nope. I feel like the AI was able... I really feel like the AI was able to spam that projectile way more than I can. Did she have some kind of specific affinity for eating in the previous game? What's up with that? I don't know who these non-Olimar people are. I never, I never even beat the game Olimar was in, let alone the se multiple sequels. Ooh, another teleport zone that leads to probably that map. Alright. What? Oh no, it's just an object- uh, project- uh, obstacle. Ooh. I don't even know what you are. This'll be interesting. I probably- I don't know, I'd probably guess I played Pikmin for like six hours when I was like 12 or something. I don't really know much about the game, but I have the basic- I know the basic idea. And I also went on to play some of, but also still not beat, uh... I still didn't beat- ow! Over- Overlord, I think it's called? I don't think I find the- I'm not sure if I find the gameplay style that compelling. I don't know. It's a weird, like, four consoles RTS idea. Get your little creepy plant zombies off of me. Trying to eat me. There they go. Yeah. Alright, well, time to figure out how to play that guy. It's like... He's a... Just a quick unlock after how much we spent trying to get Ryu. You know, maybe I spend a little more time as Ryu first. Just a little bit. We just we just got him. I've definitely played significantly more uh, Street Fighter than Pikmin. Enemy favors dash attacks. Oh no, it's for you. I don't want that at all. I don't. Oh, Wario. Weird vehicle combat. Oh, I didn't read the four Wario's part. That's one of the sneaky parts that's not super well presented in those screens. Which is that somewhere up in the corner somewhere there's four of his symbol instead of... Or his symbol times four is like hiding a, t a tiny icon somewhere. God damn, I cannot interrupt. I need to stay up here where he has to jump to me. Alright. Could you not? Wow, this kick is bad news for them. <laughs> Alright. They don't really stand a chance, do they? <laughs> it's exactly like when I play Ryu in, in the actual game, which is that I just use his named attack big things over and over again. It's all Hadoukens and Shoryukens and that's who like some pound cake. <clears throat> and none of the other moves, because he presumably has like a hundred moves, and I just do the same like he shouts out his name moves over and over again. It's because of the cool ones. And you figure out how to do them because you just roll it's a quarter circle punch. <laughs> figure it out real quick. Just the right way to roll the stick and do the little attack. Don Bongo. Yoshi series. Oh yeah, there's some old, that's an old, some old art right there. The enemy has increased move speed while, uh, for after a little while. They're giant, but they have reduced move speed at first. Okay, we'll see. We gotta fight a giant Don Bongo. Ow, that's a really big attack. Alright. Move speed's gonna go up now. Uh, 
I have almost no understanding of Yoshi. I almost certainly played Yoshi's Island at some point, but it's not something I, I fondly remember or, like, go back to. Like, I'm like, I can't wait to play Yoshi's Island again. But the main thing is the song is nostalgic. The sound of all the Yoshis singing the theme song. Is that Yoshi's story I'm thinking of? I think it is. I think I'm thinking of Yoshi's story, not Yoshi, I don't know. The one where there's a bunch of high-pitched Yoshi voices harmonizing. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Is this all looping back around to a place I've been? Yep. It's just this one. So I've looped all the way back around to the other side of the Marth encounter. So I went, I went through the other guys encounter zone more a bit. I never really did go to that area over there, huh? I should just clear out the chunk of map. All right, let's get rid of you. Charlotte Aulin. Hey, you're from Castlevania. I know you. I think you're the playable character of one of the games, isn't it? Is it the one where you play as two characters? Maybe. Enemies with special moves have increased power. Shit. Ow. Oh, you're in oh, you like to do that attack. Oh, and, and you have a friend. Goody. I don't need this Richter. Yeah, I think she is the one from the DS games that shares a that shares a game with a, with a, with a male character. And you, I think you switch between them or something. Wow, they just they were made of styrofoam. Yeah, I'm, I mostly remember Order of Ecclesia out of the out of that series, that trilogy of I think standalone DS games or whatever, but where you play as Lady. And it's not a Metroidvania because you're playing a bunch of weird standalone levels instead, which was less neat, I think. But I think there's one where it's her and like, I don't know, some kind of partner, it might be her brother or something, and they work together. Let's let's try to finish the zone I was already in, but I'll probably go up to the, that top one up there that I didn't properly finish up on. This is going somewhere, somewhere else, I think. Grill, distracted by items. I know how to fix your distraction problem. Murder. Ready? Go! But the fact that I thought she was the one that w uh, shared a game with somebody else, and then a, th then a second character showed up, more or less confirmed that idea. That's okay. That's a lot of stars. Oh no, no. Oh, that's the that's the gimmick of this level. Yes. Boy, that's one of those ones where it's like, oh, you're distracted by items, huh? That's interesting. And you don't know what that's gonna mean until you see that it's just spawning that item. I'm like, oh, that's the theme. Okay. We're having a horrifying star battle. It's like a it's like a Wild West duel, but stupid. <laughs> Timed stamina battle. Enemy tends to avoid conflict. Oh. Oh no, you're also a, a rose. <clears throat> well, that was easy. I can see why they gave me that item. Just sucks away all their power. Oh yeah, that's a Pikmin monster, isn't it? I guess it's one that ran away. I wonder if it was also something that was, like, valuable as, like, a loot source or something? Like, you had wanted to hunt it down? We're up to 80, but I've already got this one? Yeah. Battering items. Meteor effect. Oh, better healing would not be bad. Hmm. Stronger healing's not a bad idea. Learned. Reduces damage from explosions and fire. Why not? I wonder how fast this is gonna... I can't zoom out, but it's not very big. Yeah. You probably fill this thing in faster than you'd think. Especially considering how big this tree looks like it is. Master... 
The floor is sticky, and you have reduced defense. Oh, it's the... It's that looping Mario versus map, but with a... Battlefield as its template, so it doesn't have as much coverage. We played this in the multiplayer match, and because it wasn't Battlefield mode, it was that background back there, uh, there was so much bounce p possibility, because there was so much wall coverage, that you just you wouldn't die. I'm sticky immune, so screw you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That didn't work. You killed the banana. It gave its life for you. And you just threw it away. How dare you. Then, oh, God. <laughs> I'm a bad person. <laughs> uh -oh. Alright. There you go, that's the proper rolling backflip kick that he does. No. Do not do a super. Ush, I forgot you have that. Oh! No! <clears throat> no! Stop. Oh! I forgot. I forgot he has that. <laughs> this is the first time a super meter is actually filled today. There you go. You can just politely stop living for me. Ow. Yeah! Get him. Yeah, auto-selecting your, your trophies definitely seems to help. Not trophies, allies. Just because it seems to select the guys that will also be of a competitive... Uh... Of comparative... Compared, uh, competitiveness with what you're fighting. Which means that whatever you're getting tends to be something that, uh... It's like, uh, you'll get better rewards because the number's actually more comparable. Blaze the cat! Ra Rabbit Kong. I'm about to unlock a new character, and I haven't switched away from Olimar yet. I kind of feel bad, but I... <laughs> I wanted to play as some Ryu. Enemies' punches and elbow strikes have increased power. I feel like that already happened with Donkey Kong before. Hey, buddy. Okay, I see what's going on here. All right, I get it. You're annoying. That's the secret. <laughs> Whatever character you're mimicking must have been really annoying. <laughs> get out. Get out of my level. Get out of my level. There you go. Wasn't really fighting back. He was just not. Oh, yeah, right. Rabbit Kong was annoying. Wow, that's a new reference, too. I just played that game, like, last year. <laughs> I still need to play the expansion at some point. It's hard. So many new games come out, then the expansions and DLCs for the games I already played come out, while also trying to cover the other games, and I'm like, I can't, I can't, I, I, there's infinite video games. So of course I want to play the expansion to that, and the expansion to Zelda, and so on. It's just, ha. Ah. Cool, another confusing gimmick character for me to play. <laughs> But between this guy and Pikmin, I'm going to be pretty confused, probably. Why would you... 
Why would Pac-Man have a fire hydrant for an attack? I don't get it. I don't understand. Is it from the cartoon? Oh, wait. Oh. I got mixed up which one of them was Pac-Man somehow. Okay. You just- okay, you're just doing Namco attacks. That's not Pac-Man, it's Galaga. I played way more Galaga than Pac-Man as a kid. Now, I actually had access- I, uh, I don't remember what the context was, but like, I had access to a Galaga cabinet as a kid. Like, not, a, not like, like, a, like on a personal level. I don't know if it was a friend's or my parents or what. I just thought it wasn't like a establishment. We somehow had one or something. There you go. I, don't, I have I have no idea what his moves are. He is horrifying to me. That's a character where you stare into the abyss and the abyss stares back, and I'm like, I don't no, no. All right, well that's a bit of time with Ryu. Oh. What's going on here? Was Pac-Man specifically a big deal? Oh, it's just that I discovered this zone and this zone is like another dungeon. I see. Oh, it's got a big scary demon face icon. Worrying. Let's try Olimar. He's probably interesting to play. I just have no idea how he works. Already two more, huh? I haven't really spent proper time as the villager either, have I? These are characters- oh god, an ace fight. These are characters that it's a little hard for me to, to get me to play as though, just because I don't get them. So defeat nine Game & Watches is what this level is. I prefer to play pretty direct fighters. Which is the majority of them, that don't have really baffling weird moves. The Game & Watch. Game & Watch is a good example of what I don't want to play as. Alright. <clears throat> Each Pikmin have different qualities depending on their color. Red gives you bonus attack unless the row. Yellow gives you hitbox bonus. Blue gives you bonus the row. White gives you better grab but lower attack. Purple gives you attack up but breach down. Okay. Use Pikmin for special moves. Neutral replenishes Pikmin. Side throws Pikmin. Up fly with winged pink Pikmin. Down call back Pikmin. This character might be kind of complicated. <laughs> Alright, so B plucks Pikmin. Plucks a maximum of three picks Pikmin in this order. Red, yellow, blue. White, purple. Okay. Hmm. A max in that order. has. How do you max out? You max out before you get through five, so I'm curious... Maybe once you lose up three, you then, like, maybe you get do red, yellow, blue, then you, then they die or something, then you draw white, purple, red or something. Throw. Let's sideways. Most Pikmin stick to opponents, but purple Pikmin slam them. Winged Pikmin is up B. Summons winged Pikmin to fly around. Less effective if laden with Pikmin. So the more Pikmin, Pikmin you have, the weaker your up B is for recovery. Pikmin order. Blows his whistle to recall Pikmin and change their order. Huh. Final smash, end of day. Olimar boards a ship and flies off, leaving his foes at the mercy of the indigenous creatures. Oh. The ship's return can be controlled with left and right. Upon landing, it explodes and, la and launches nearby foes. Alright. Yeah, Pikmin was like a, a, like a resource management, open world survival RTS console game with a day-night cycle. It's a weird one. I have a sword. I guess I opened with it, huh? Oh boy, that's a lot of bad. That's a lot of bad. Why? Why so many swords? Does this level have a, an affinity for swords? Oh wait, no, I spawned with this one because of because of my spirit. That is a all right. Dramatic background. The combination here of Metal Gear with with these enemies. 
Makes for a weird encounter. Ow! Did you just... What'd you hit me with? Ow. Let me go. Let me go. Takes a little bit of attention just to keep track of which uh, Pikmin you have on, on hand. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. Might be a problem for me. I don't really know Game & Watch's moves. Definitely my least played character in all of Melee. And now I've got to fight nine of them as a character that's new. Maybe not the best time. To change characters. This was one. This is a, a one-star level, though, right? So it seemed reasonable. Is this the Masemune? Come on up, buddy. I dare you. Ow. You think I'm messing around, punk? Ow. Die. Die. <laughs> Jesus. They don't take very well to these attacks. Oh, didn't see him coming. Come on over. Come on over. Can't, can't wait to meet you. Ah, oh, damn it. You're running out of friends, aren't you, buddy? Running out of friends. Ooh, here it comes. Yay. Oh, I hit none of them with it. That was a weird one to control. I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. There we go. When in doubt, weapon. Lightweight. I should have checked what they were from, because I don't, actually don't know. Not that it's that important. Metal Gear background crossed with ga crossed with Game & Watch visuals is a weird one. Strange Love? Oh, Bayonetta. You're like a... No, Metal Gear character. Uh... Which game? You're probably from Revengeance, right? Because I don't recognize you. I'm not sure, though. Defeat the main fighter to win. Reinforcements appear during the battle. Enemy is metal. Oh, goody. Can't wait. Half the Pikmin sound like they're saying Jinjo to me. Ready, yeah, Strange Love has got to be a reference to the bomb movie, which I also haven't seen. But Dr. Strangelove and how I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb. Damn. Why did I hit so hard? That was terrifying. I wasn't even a strong... I didn't even have a strong ally. I just decimated them. I didn't decimate them, though. Decimating is when you destroy one-tenth of something. It is a mis misapplied word. Take your strongest team to this no-frills battle against uh, Diddy Kong and Isabel. I see you hiding over there, Diddy Kong. Yeah, no-frills two-on-one battle. Why are your eyes red? Get help, Diddy Kong. You have a problem. Your, your family's worried about you. Oh, yeah, there's no frills battle with the rocket ship attack on it. All right. I see how it is. Oh, God. I didn't, I thought, I didn't realize that one had been planted. Okay. 
Don't kill me. There we go. Wow, that's a strong ass recovery. There we go. Having trouble hitting him directly. Hi. Oh. Oh, there's gonna be so many of them coming this way. Oh, I just, did I just kill my Pikmin? No, he's fine. <gasps> oh, ow. Oh boy, watch out. I'm so garbage with this character that I basically feel like I'm winning on accident, but I'm still winning, apparently. I'll take it.